talking that way? Well, so, my name uh, is... One second. Are you there or there? A uh, couple of things. Well, my name is Charlie Caper, and uh, I love street performing. I reckon it's the best job in the world. One thing that I think street performers have to face a lot is the sort of things just happening that stop you from working. Like, uh, it rains on a Saturday afternoon. For a professional street performer, that's quite an expensive event. And you can get upset about it the first Saturday it rains, or the second or the third. But the 20th Saturday it rains on you, you have to make a choice. Should you get upset or not? And uh, you kind of have to make a decision where, ah, uh, I guess it's part of the game. It happens. And I, I like having had to learn to, uh, to accept accidents that just happen. My parents are quite supportive, but let me say they were skeptical when I quit my job as a computer programmer to become a street performer. They, they didn't really like the sound of it. But as they, as they realized that I was actually enjoying life and, and doing really cool things, they became much more supportive. As a traveling street performer, I guess it's hard to have a traditional relationship. You're basically just traveling around. I used to travel in a way where I, I would change cities or countries every two or three weeks, which is quite an intense touring schedule. Uh, so that made normal relationships quite difficult. I've been almost arrested a lot of times, but I've never actually been taken to the police station. But I've had a lot of heated arguments and stuff. But I know very well how to talk with policemen, and I know like, how to talk to them with respect, but at the same time holding my ground in a way. And I think policemen really, they know when they're talking to someone who's reasonable. And they know I'm not, I'm not dangerous when I talk to them, and they know that I'm, I'm not a crazy person, and they know that if they have a good reason for me to leave, I will leave. So I've, I've just had a lot of, but I've, I've had trouble with the police in, in England, Italy, Spain, Japan, uh, Melbourne, a lot of places, a lot of places. I don't know why, I think government quite often likes street performers, but I find, f find that individual policemen quite often don't. I think in many times it's a, just a way for them to show off their power. Like, but, I mean, there are, there are also street performers that are idiots. There's bad eggs everywhere. And uh, there's street performers that are far too loud or far too obnoxious or, or outright dangerous. And they also obviously cause trouble for the police. So I think it's, it's both the fact that that there's street performers that are idiots, and there's the fact that there's policemen that are idiots. And that causes problems for all the street performers that are really cool. I th the main way that street performers fuck up is being too loud, or by annoying shops or business owners in the area. But noise is a real problem. People that just put the volume up for no reason. I mean, it annoys me <laughs> even more, I guess. <laughs>